Everyone, welcome back to Portal Snake, a puzzle game all about really cursed portals. So, like, in for instance, the snake goes inside this portal. But now in this world, the gimmick is that we have multiple portals, not just two, we have three. That allows for, like, snake duplications. And of course, the snake can change size, it can also go diagonal, it can get smaller, you know, just normal snake gameplay. And because of snake duplication, this is the first time that we're able to get more uh, we can get we can like generate snakes now but okay let's let's not focus too hard on that because we i think we do need a very specific thing we also need to get that apple on the right side which is in that dark background which means that we cannot put any of the portals through it like i'm trying to drag into it does it work so i think i will need a small snake that goes in here sure to like put it in the correct angle here okay there we go and you see that the snake will always try to turn right if it can if not then it'll turn left it's at a dead end, but and if it can't go in any direction, it just gets stuck. And we, in fact, want it to get stuck because we're wanting a snake to come in here, right? So let's bring that. Should work, right? Speed it up. Oh, come on, it goes underneath. Um, just move this um, so that we have a similar scale. Okay, that one is going to go lock the gate, and there we go, level complete. All right, next one. Okay, so I still know the difference between freaking green and red portals. It's just to distinguish them because it might be... That we're distinguishing them now. I actually, those are fires, and I didn't even know what this was. And we have some movable walls, so I think we definitely cannot just do it with two snakes. We need three, which means we gotta generate some. Hmm. So of course we can make infinite snakes like this, but that's not good enough. I don't even know how you would go about distinguishing them. Like you would need to get in the way. One snake would need to get in the way of the others. I also don't think making a me mega snake is gonna work. Like, you can do that, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't let you pick up the apples while dying. Okay, n no, probably not. No. For some reason, I feel like maybe we're we're doing something like that. And then it goes in. And maybe that's better. I know it doesn't look better currently, but if we can go back into one of the portals. Here. Mm, but nothing can go in that location, so that's not good. Mm. I have two of three with that one. Mm. Okay, new idea, because I couldn't find anything working with the other. I, I wish that worked, because it was like, I don't know, it feels more thematic to get three apples with three portals and not make infinite, but I see if I do that. Th that seems like a really efficient... Effic um... <laughs> yes, very elegant. Um, okay, what if I put it there instead? Okay, that, that, no, no. Okay, well, we, we completed a level, so, uh, anyway. Now we have a pushable block. This is a block that I can just push. And the apple can move? Why? Oh, the, oh my gosh! We're gonna need to push. <laughs> okay, we're gonna duplicate the apple, clearly. Do we even have much room to do so? Okay, I can do that. What if they try to go in the same place? I think they're not allowed to go into the same place to merge into a super apple or whatever. So instead it just turns, which is fine, fair enough. Okay, there we go. <laughs> push them, push it out, uh, block the path, and there we go. Alright, three, four. So we have a snake at the very bottom which needs to get to this apple, but to do that we need a pressure plate, and the pressure plate needs to be on for six turns. Also, I think I need to do this exactly in time, otherwise this will turn left into the fire. So, huh. And okay, the entire snake dies if the tail is, or if any part of the snake is hit with the fire, it will pretty much die. What do I do? Do I, like, have an infinite snake set up? Or is it, it's blocked by its own tail, huh? Yeah, that's nowhere near enough to be on for six turns in a row. Do we just make a really, really small snake? Wouldn't that do it? Because then it would be on for longer because it's smaller. No. Although I guess with a small stick we have the problem of like... we It's not going to get there in time. for Because of this because this snake needs to go... And this snake is also setting a time limit to when the first snake gets on the button. So I, I noticed also that we actually have so little time that that is the only timing. Like it's actually insane. Like the only variant I can do is something like this, where it's like a little larger, but the ratio is still enough so it gets onto that button. I think the key there is though, because this is forced, where I really need to go into the portal immediately, 
then I have no other choice. This is not about creating snakes to make infinity and like another snake to get in there because it's going to burn immediately. I need to stop it from moving by using the other portal. So, so if I, if I like do this, I don't think I need this wall actually. So now, see? The portal is not fully went through there. Or the snake is not fully went through the portal. I realized this one, like, the, like, when this snake burned, like, for example, here, it burned all the snakes. Which means that the snake, like, it's not duplicated until it goes fully through the portal. It's not, like, fully duplicated, which is weird to think about, because it can obviously see two copies of the heads, but that's allowing it to get stuck here. And since one snake is stuck, the rest of them are stuck, too. That's... Unintuitive, but great. And now we have... We now need an alternator here? Hmm. How's that even possible? 10110. Zero, zero, zero. Hmm. <laughs> well, that also seems kind of impossible, but... Oh, well, no, we're just making infinity. Right, okay. So we we can make infinity stakes now. We're not under time pressure. We just need another stake to go here. Though that still raises a problem. Because you see this. But... Yes, we do have this, but we don't have another snake here. We have basically locked it. We need to find a way to make more snakes. <laughs> Diagonals fixed everything. Is it this? <laughs> it's actually working. <laughs> it's the stupidest way to do anything. Cool. Did my computer explode? <laughs> Saves me the trouble of trying to elegantly make another st and and it's lagging. I love when the abstract spaghetti monster gets its doodle appendages into things. Okay, so wh what is this? Are we on the wall? Huh? What was that's why? Why are you on the wall? Is this even a wall? It's weird. It's like. So also, I, I was thinking like, what if you do this? Does that act like a wall? It. Excuse me. What? I mean, okay, sure, we can, we're going out of bounds this episode. Still can't put anything there, and I can't, like, drag this off into the void. By default, what's happening is that it goes in there and dies. All I gotta say is, you better not be collecting this apple on the UI. No. <laughs> okay, well, maybe someday. So if that's not, like, if that's not it, then why does, why does level have this ability to go out of the grid? I can't even zoom in or out as far as I know, or like pan the camera. But like, how how could this work? Either there's a second snake that comes there, and then it hits the tail of the snake that's going, that's taking the bottom route, or I just make two smaller snakes that also still have to go in at the same time, the same like time, I don't know. That, no. Hmm. Something like that, in my opinion, except the, 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 they want to be more closer together if I can make that happen. No. We're not picking infinite stakes, are we? The worst part is how makeable that is, seemingly. It's not possible to make a mirrored stake, is it? That'd be really dumb. I don't think so. Like, a snake can't turn into a left-handed version. But I think this looks pretty good, at least... Like, look at how this is like a half. I hope it's a half, anyway, of the size. And that implies that there's a way to get the other half in there too. I don't know if like the, the freaking obvious non-walliness is supposed to communicate anything else. Like uh, some other trick. No. Um, how about upwards? Let's see that one. No! This is the first time I've got a snake like on top of the other one, but it's too slow. The huge difference in scale makes things way too slow in comparison. You know what? I'm actually gonna consider going diagonals. Just because, like, I... The most normal thing I can do is, like, nine blocks, and that didn't seem like enough of a good number. It's almost kind of annoying that you, like... You can't just do that and have it count as, like, oh, you're entering the top... Uh, you're entering the top half of this portal, the bottom half of this at the same time. Therefore, like, it just, like, it comes out, but no, it doesn't. Oh, my... You're, you're so... If, if only your tunnel was slightly shorter. Okay, so all I did was move this down, and looking at this, I'm pretty sure it will win. But, <laughs> gosh. Yeah, okay. And we probably could have done that simpler, too. Yeah, it turns out it's pretty elegant. There we go. 
just like the game is already easy to overcomplicate and with the meta stuff that seemed to be enabled it got a little worse but okay here we go once again no walls on the outside big apple so what we gotta turn on ourselves or what okay, this looks what the hell we're just like we have no possible walls pretty much this is insane what what can maybe save some bounces with diagonal stuff but um you certainly look impossible. Not sure if it matters at all that we start out with a bent tail. So as it should be kind of obvious, like the snakes that are bigger go faster effectively. So this is a smaller snake and so it's not going to outrun this one, which I hope it'll hit. Hmm. Damn it. <laughs> Freaking beta teasers. I've also wondered, like, this might be a more, a more elegant approach, but unfortunately it seems like it's going to be much harder to time it. But I was thinking, what if we had a diagonal that hits the bottom, you know, that that edge of the snake? Because then there's, like, an obvious diagonal that, that will clearly work. It's just that the timing is going to suck. Yeah, that one outran it so fast. Way too fast. Oh, come on. Alright, here we go. I think this is going to work. And that, that's nice because, you know, it is the most elegant for a diagonal to do that, and the the angle of the other snake compared to the diagonal, it doesn't matter. This one doesn't matter, it's only the diagonal which is in the correct angle, and therefore it'll just work. Okay, so we have five... What are those things, anyway? It's like the red versus green portals. I still don't know the difference between them. What a, what a jerk. Can't, I can't do anything. Four movable walls, but... Okay, that that really does look like the most impossible level yet. What? Huh. I can't get through. I can do that, that other trick, but... Hmm. I guess the, the walls are interesting. They, they allow loops to happen again, maybe? Yeah, I can see another snake can follow behind, but it's the same size, so it's not going to be useful. If anything, the snake that would like to be there is actually going to be faster than the than the ones that we first put in. So we have the idea that, oh, we're going to put a bunch of snakes in there, then we're going to put a normal-sized snake, the normal-sized snake is faster, and therefore it can hit the tail of the other snakes that we first put in there, and then turn right, since they always turn, you know, right by default. But wait, we do have a normal-sized snake, though. It's the one that comes out. Hmm. Hmm. No, wrong, wrong way. Oh my gosh, it's hitting the tail too early. It's like no matter how, like what the scale is of the two portals I put here, that it's actually going to come way too early each time. You know, this crap is working. I might need to switch this to be vertical at this point. What if I delay it like that? Oh, that was what I was missing probably. Yeah, okay. It's, I mean, they're still way too fast for what's going on, but that might be the key. Unfortunately, we have a doesn't go the right way problem. As it turns out, the distance doesn't matter as much as I thought it did. And I feel like I really should just do this kind of thing, where like these are super small while this one is only getting kind of small. Oh my god, look at this tease. Hmm. <laughs> That, okay, good thing is that that means it's actually really close to winning. This can't I just like mess with the durations of these? No. Okay, what if I just move all this one to the left? There we go. Ugh. Wow, it's, it's really, it's such a good level. Like, oh, why do we have blue teleporters? What is the difference? Okay. I mean, now we have four though. We have four portals in total and six movables. We have a snake here. The, all we need to do is get the red, really. Hmm. Makes that difficult. Oh, <laughs> that's a box, not a pressure plate. Ugh. That's up against the edge of the world. How are you going to push that to the left? You're going to need a big diagonal snake or what? <laughs> mm. Now, the only thing that I think is new maybe about this is that... Look at the diagonal pushes. Uh, yeah, that's nice night move. Is it even a night, a night move? Anyway, maybe that's the technology to get it useful. I don't know. Oh, I guess it doesn't need to conform to the grid after all. Anyway, the worst part is I actually have an idea of what to do. Um, it's still, I need to put this in like paint or something. So let's imagine this is the box, right? So, so if you, like, if we had some big snakes going to the right, we can clearly see that we could make a tunnel. 
However, this is not useful because the snake could only go to the right. But let's modify the idea. Imagine oh, there's a lot of snakes going diagonally this way and then diagonally this way. Then we could make us something that looks like this. Right? Now, um, the walls of the snakes have to have to be very specific. Like, maybe they have to look like, more like that so that the turns will work out. But that's the idea that I have. And I'm just trying to get the angles correct, which they currently are not. Wait, maybe this is easier than I could have expected. Because all I need to do is hit two things, actually. I don't even need so many, like, infinite stakes. Of course, we, we did, we're not going for infinite stakes, um, because that was a little, uh, too resource heavy. But, like, see that it hits the tail? If that was just a little later... Come on. Yeah, hit it! Okay, oh, no, 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 okay, there we go. So now all I have to do is mess with whatever this, this portal's doing. No! Boink, boink, there we go! I only need two bounces instead of an infinite tunnel, but there we go. I that's that's really great. Okay, 310. We have a single block. Which we can multiply, I'm pretty sure. So I think we just do that. Hmm. Alright, so let's see. Nope, wrong way. <laughs> yes, we can multiply the snakes, whatever. But obviously the whole point is to get tons of boxes in there, not a bunch of snakes. This is almost a Sokoban, isn't it? Like you like you see that I can do that. Now, if this was a Sokoban, I could just repeat the process, but I thought repeating the process might not be so easy. Because I don't have any movable blocks or anything. I mean, no, no, I can move this. Okay, but not only is it going to mess with the starting position, though, and then I have to come up with some better loop. Hey, that flipped it upside down. Um, huh. We also have a snake that came back. So, that's very suspicious. It makes me think, oh, I should do it, like, here instead. Hmm. Will this loop infinitely like the way I want? No, not exactly. No, I said not more snakes. Something like that is blocked in a different way than I've done before. I previously blocked it off with a wall, but if you can block it off with a tail, you can't can't just put this all down here and have it like loop properly. The answer is that I suck at the video game. Uh here. Alright. Oh no. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that far away. Just move it down here and then it should work. There we go. Three, four, five, and that's pretty much enough. Okay. Okay, so now I have the like all the main content done for three ten the world three, but of course. I mean haven't but but I thought that I was an expert at this. Um like we could get those clever offsets, probably. It's also interesting that there's a gap, like the gap increase, like that implies that you do that instead. But also it's not quite correct because notice that like the um, going in through the left side if I just do this, so I want the largest to come out from the right. Um. Oh look, perfectly getting it except... Wait, wait, so there, there's like small snakes going on the other apples. Ha! <laughs> uh... Okay, nice that that's somehow happening, that there are snakes crawling around the edges of those, but I don't think we're going to see any go in this side anytime soon. So all I'm going to do is mess with the scale of these portals. Okay. Don't get stuck in there! Oh my gosh! If this wins, is going to be a really dumb way. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I didn't want that to happen anyway. Is it even possible? Oh my gosh, one of them actually just went down the, the lower route. Why do give... Oh my gosh, it's gonna win. <laughs> this is the worst. Okay, hold on. Okay, so like if we do this, then the very first part is very easy and like nice and normal. And uh, you know, it should only be just like a couple thousand moves or so before we can get a win. <laughs> See? Okay, so next level, we actually have three apples we can just move around, but... Ah, so this is the one where you have to probably get the tail to push and duplicate an apple. <laughs> so that's great. It doesn't seem like it should be tough at all. Oh, well, actually, there is an issue with it, kind of. Maybe. So, when you move, you are you don't move anything with your tail. You need to eat multiple apples at once in order to have your tail extend any further than expected. You also don't have space for the tail to extend to push an apple in this location, so we need to turn at the very least. And I bet we're going to need to change scale. Mm. This also has multiple snakes, but I... Unless two snakes eat the same apple at the same time, I don't think anything's gonna, like, happen with the tails. 
And the, like, here, okay, so yes, you can have two snakes eat at the same time, but the position of the tail will need to matter in a way where the apple can then get pushed through and duplicate. I wonder if half out, half, <laughs> half bubbles are a thing. I'm gonna put a block here at the very least. Okay, so you can see that that apple did get pushed. Now, oh, of course it wouldn't be that easy. The snake must be blocking the apple from moving through the portal. So probably then, we don't do it in duplication step. We have to make Big Snake. And Big Snake has the same problem with the tail, I think. The tail is not allowed to push. Now, uh, I did say it's theoretically probably easy, but there is some geometric annoyance here. All right, so there you go. Right? There you go. So, slow down. The big tail is just is right in position to eat two apples, push this through the portal, and we make two apples out of it. Now, <laughs> uh... Okay. Luckily, we happen to have just a ton of walls, so that's fine. Move, move a little bit, and then... Alright, there we go. Okay, 313. Three lasers. What?! Okay, no, 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 32. Amazing. So that's obviously 32 small snakes on top of the... the. No, no, it's not a pressure plate, it's a, a laser. Um, kind of wonder how that worked. And the default setup is, is giving us two lasers. So are we do Like, is there a way to make multiple... The same laser somehow, like, split off into multiple things that count up towards this? Or am I really making 32 small lasers? Okay, so let's just test some of this laser stuff. Oh. <laughs> ah! Um. I can't tell... On the first turn, it's already moved away, which is annoying. <sighs> Look, I just wanted to know. I think that's two different lasers, but... Uh. Yeah, the count isn't going above one, so I'm going to assume that we are actually to duplicate the laser source. Yeah, I think this is also a good demonstration of, like, that's only counting as one, for sure. Okay. Or could we... No, wait. Or, huh. Also, another thought is, what if we duplicate the target instead? Duplicating the target might, might make more sense, actually. Uh... I don't think it's working. It'd be nice to see a number higher than one today. No! Okay. I'm not sure that laser position is good. I think the number is going, like, it's going to two at some points, but very <laughs> not consistently. We need a better way. Like, I know that, it, it's, assuming that nothing gets messed around with, this small snake in the center is always producing infinity uh, boxes for us, but it's just, it's gonna be too slow as it goes lower and lower in size. I ever think the composer of this music would have wanted it to be used for some climactic boss fight instead of, you know this. Come on. What about this one? Look, it's making a nice staircase of blue. Oh no, more ways to fail spectacularly. Well, I think I've spotted a way in which I was being very dumb. Like, I was setting this up and then, like, it kept getting messed around with vertically. So if you stick it in the corner, is it not possible anymore for those to ever move? I think that was the tech I was missing. That's 4 out of 32, but this is still gonna take too long, right? Five? Oh my gosh. I guess every puzzle game needs to have a Jonathan Blow. Go leave computer away and touch the non-technological. What is going on with this number? Um... That's, that's four. Five. Five. Okay, well that's the fastest we've got to five. Which is not a compliment because I don't know why it's not <laughs> strictly increasing. No. I've also been thinking like... The only way to get that high, seeing that everything else is too slow, it means we have to like duplicate the snakes. Not only like duplicate the boxes, but after they've been duplicated, duplicate them again. Like over and over again. So that's like four. Well, if it could pierce through, that'd be eight, right? But unfortunately, you can only see the front most, so it's not going to be eight. Hmm. Do I do some diagonal stuff, or is there a so-called better way without diagonal? Diagonal would be actually really funny to force here. The diagonal is not actually working because it wants to go vertical so bad. Yeah, that, I, this is an idea I should have had in my mind earlier. I guess, like, it's weird because it's so clear. I guess it's because the, the freaking laser is very annoying. Four, and it's still a constant four! So how long must I wait until it says 8 and then 16 and 32? Oh well, at least it will make it. 
Or at least, or, or we'll say seven instead of eight. God damn it, spaghetti monster. Why don't you even look evenly spaced? Number, please go up. Why is your number lower than the last time we did this wave? Why is this so close to get so far? Like, this is so annoying. That we have, like, screw it, put, put the eye there. Why not? You know what? Let's do that. Why? It, 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 I wanted to, the eye to see exactly the previous one. Is that, can we even do that? What about that? You know, it's it's really amazing how many beams that can trigger, and yet the number is still zero a lot of the time. Okay, yes, this is embarrassing, but only now have I thought, like... So, of course, like, if I rotated this to face upwards and then did that entire duplication thing, it would win the level easily, because, like, now there's, like, no difficulty. It's always activated. Um, but to just you could just do the exact same thing by having the whole thing on the vertical side instead. And then it's like completely an unchallenge. Yeah. As the number will always go up because the blocks are always connected. Okay, hold on. We got to do this faster. All right. There you go. My gosh, that took way too long. All right. Three, one, four. One, five, nine, two, six, five. Anyway. Out of zero. Huh. So we continually need at least 13 turns of consecutive this always being blocked that's weird because that actually seems impossible because when we when we made lots of snakes before there was always a gap in between because you couldn't make an infinite snake stream i'm not sure how they would deal with that like you might deal with that by having smaller snakes to try to fit in the gaps like my thoughts about how the snakes are going to look is like they alternate like this this or something like that where they're always going to block the laser I do kind of wonder why this is not just another off offsetting type puzzle like this. I mean, I know we have like a space loss, but still. Uh, hold on. We put a, a bigger gap between them. It does actually give more time. Okay, we only need a little bit more after that. Uh, if that's easy to make anyway. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's... Uh, we're, we're, hmm. Oh, how about this one? Come on, that should do it, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So of course 314 is easier than 313. Of course it is. Okay, I, I wonder how much we got left. Excuse me, what? Did this exist before? I wouldn't miss an entire level hidden in what the hell game.